Today is Thursday, the 11th of December, the second last day of the COP. Tomorrow, Friday, the 12th is the last day. <coughs> we haven't had a huge amount of progress in negotiating the text. Negotiations went in up to about 2 a.m. last night and didn't resolve a great deal. We probably will do the same again uh, late into tonight. Although the ministers are now engaged, uh, Secretary of State Kerry is in town. Uh, Al Gore is in town, Ban Ki-moon is in town, so it's gone to the high political level. Uh, presidents and prime ministers are involved in uh, finalizing some kind of a deal, we're not sure what it is. <coughs> It'll probably be revealed tomorrow. Um, but we've had a lot of uh, additional action. One of the things that the Lima uh, COP presidency, the president and minister of Peru wanted to do, and I think they've done fairly well, is to have many other things happening in Lima. So there was a People's March in the city. Uh, today there were a number of launches of actions by different countries, by governments, by uh, companies, by civil society. And we want to build momentum, positive momentum, in terms of tackling climate change in the real world, as opposed to negotiating words on a piece of paper with negotiators to and have been doing for the last 20 years. And the same negotiating positions are put forth year after year after year with very little change and very little progress. Not no progress, but very little progress. So hopefully in Peru, we may break that mold. By tomorrow, we may have a good Lima agreement. And at the same time, a lot of momentum for action. One of the good things is that the government of Peru and the government of France, who are going to be hosting Paris uh, COP next year are together taking this actions program forward from Lima to Paris and hopefully it will build even greater momentum in Paris next year. So even though things look dark in the negotiating rooms, hopefully there's light at the end of the tunnel or as they say, it's darkest before the dawn. Tomorrow we shall find out if we have actually have a dawn or not.